Well, you wonder if it's someone you know, you run into who they have for kids, their wife, how old they are. Like, it's just a life lost. The community is in mourning the loss of Trooper First Class Aaron Pelletier. We continue to learn more about this tragedy in Southington from today. Thanks for joining us for the News at 11. I'm Mike Heideck. And I'm Keisha Grant. For the 26th time in Connecticut, a state trooper has died in the line of duty. It all started at around 2.36 this afternoon on Interstate 84 near Exit 31 in Southington. Trooper First Class Aaron Pelletier was in the middle of a routine traffic stop when he was struck by a passing pickup truck that kept going. He died at the scene. Police later took the driver of that pickup into custody eight exits down the road. The truck was so badly damaged it couldn't drive anymore. We are covering every angle of this story tonight with our team of reporters. Jeremy Chen and Amanda Pitts are in Southington right now with much more on what happened and the response. Jane Caffrey is in Farmington with the very latest on the suspect. Tonight we start with Matt Austin who is in Hartford at Troop H where the trooper first class Pelletier was assigned. Matt. Yeah, a heartbreaking day for state police, especially his colleagues here at Troop H. And tonight we're learning more about his years of service to the state, as well as the family, including two children he leaves behind. Tonight we are suffering. In our small state, it feels as if we have all lost a precious member of the family. Tonight, state police remembering Trooper First Class Aaron Pelletier, who died in the line of duty. He was a dedicated and compassionate professional. He was a role model, model to younger troopers, and he set a high standard for them to follow. We met Pelletier during a ride along back in 2018. He joined the force nine years ago and was based at Troop H in Hartford. This is something that he uh, he's always wanted to uh, do. Uh, he has an infectious smile. He's always smiling. Um, he was, uh, you know, I, I always looked at him. He always looked so young to me, and uh, he just he he always put a smile on your face when you saw him, and he was always happy to be. Previously, we're told he worked for the Department of Correction, and since joining state police, held numerous special assignments, including being a canine handler. Now they honor Pelletier as he made the ultimate sacrifice, and they think about the family he leaves behind. We want his wife Dominique, and th their two young sons, Troy and Zachary, to know that our state will hold you in our hearts and our prayers. We will never forget your sacrifice. And sadly, Pelletier died in the community where he lived and grew up. We're told he was a 2007 graduate of Southington High. Live in Hartford, Matt Austin, NBC Connecticut News. Mike and Keisha, back to you. Matt, thank you. As we mentioned, this tragedy all began just after 2.30 this afternoon. Trooper First Class Aaron Pelletier was working overtime, helping to keep drivers safe on the roads. NBC Connecticut's Jeremy Chen is live in Southington with more on the events that led up to his death. Jeremy. Yeah, Mike and Keisha, this was the stretch of I-84 where state police say for Trooper First Class Aaron Pelletier was patrolling as well as conducting a traffic stop. They also say it was while he was doing his job, he was struck and killed by a red pickup truck. Sirens blared as cars rushed to I-84 East in Southington as state police investigate the death of one of their own. They say Trooper First Class Aaron Pelletier was working overtime and conducted a traffic stop this afternoon. It was at this time that TFC Pelletier was traveling in the left lane and had observed an operator traveling in the right lane not wearing a seatbelt. State police say Trooper First Class Pelletier was speaking with the driver of the vehicle he stopped when a red pickup truck struck him. Preliminary information shows that the right side wheels of the pickup were completely over the dividing line into the shoulder, sideswiped TFC Pelletier's cruiser, and then struck TFC Pelletier. Troopers say the red pickup truck did not stop until it became disabled in the area of exit 39A in Farmington. That's when police caught up with the driver. The evading operator is currently in state police custody. State police say Trooper First Class Pelletier died at the scene. They're stressing to drivers to obey the move over law if they ever see any emergency vehicle on the shoulder. It could be a DOT service truck, a tow truck, a fire truck, an ambulance, or a police vehicle to slow down and move over. 
Now, police are still asking people if they have seen anything, perhaps as witnesses or perhaps caught anything on dash cam, dash cam video. They're urging them to contact them. Live in Southington, Jeremy Chen, NBC Connecticut News. Mike and Keisha, I'll send it back to you. Jeremy, thank you. Our team coverage continues now with the huge outpouring of support that we've seen from across the state today. A large procession escorted the body of Trooper First Class Pelletier to the office of the chief medical examiner. NBC Connecticut's Amanda Pitts watched the procession and she spoke to many people who gathered there to pay their respects today. She joins us live now from Southington. Amanda. Yeah, Mike Keisha, there was a huge show of support for Trooper First Class Aaron Pelletier and his family here in Southington. People filled overpasses as below the procession went by to honor that Southington native who sadly lost his life in his own community. American flags hanging from overpasses above I-84 as below the body of Trooper First Class Aaron Pelletier passed underneath. He's not going home, you know. The procession started at the scene on I-84 East in Southington, where the trooper lost his life in a hit and run and ended at the medical examiner's office in Farmington. The nine-year veteran of the force, a Southington High School graduate. Very tragic, horrible. You know, my thoughts and prayers are with his wife and his, his family and just absolutely horrible. Among the crowds on overpasses were those who knew Pelletier. This couple worked alongside him at the Department of Corrections before he became a trooper. He was a great guy, always helpful, always very respectful and, you know, out there trying to do the right thing and make a difference. Of the many who gathered to pay his respects were fire departments that saluted as the procession passed and people just driving by. It's probably the most respectful thing I could think of to do at this time because I don't know them. I don't know where if I could send them a card. It's my only way of showing my respect. Tom Pizzatola took down his American flag and walked it here. I just felt like I needed to come here. I live right down at the end of the road. I see tears in your eyes. What was it like to see that procession come by? It's the worst thing in the world. That guy went to work today thinking he's going home. He didn't go home. Now, this community is just heartbroken. If you were watching that procession, you might have noticed it paused for a bit on the highway. That's because it took a detour through the trooper's neighborhood here in Southington with a stop by his home. Live in Southington, Amanda Pitts, NBC Connecticut News. Keisha. Amanda, thank you. Governor Lamont has ordered flags across the state lower to half staff in honor of Trooper First Class Aaron Pelletier. They will remain that way until his funeral. Tonight, the suspect in Trooper First Class Pelletier's death is in police custody. They are not, though, releasing the identity at this point. We are getting a better idea, though, of what happened after that suspect took off. NBC Connecticut's Jane Caffrey joining us live now in Farmington. And Jane, that's actually where the suspect's truck ended up. That's right. This all centers around a red truck. Police say the suspect was driving that pickup, fled the scene, and then it was found here in Farmington, five miles away from where that trooper was hit. Just a short time later, our camera crew was here as a man on foot was being detained right next to this bridge. A traffic stop turned into deadly hit and run. A red pickup truck traveling in the right lane began to encroach upon the right shoulder. State police say that red pickup truck veered into Trooper First Class Aaron Pelletier, then fled. This pickup truck coming to a stop and becoming disabled miles up I-84 near exit 39A in Farmington. Yeah, I was freaked out for a little while. A driver on the highway describes what he saw next. I saw a red pickup truck on the side of the highway with a gentleman outside of the pickup truck and I saw the state troopers just swarming them like giving them no chance at all but so and then I as I keep driving forward all of this stuff is going on so I was just wondering if it had anything to do with it. This footage captured around the same time exclusively by NBC Connecticut shows state police speaking with a man on foot near the spot where the red truck is stalled. Police approach him, put the man in handcuffs, then walk him to their vehicle. Troopers haven't yet confirmed that this is the driver of that pickup. They say they will release an identity and charges at a later time. And right now, state police say they have taken statements from several witnesses. But again, they are looking for more witnesses and anyone who may have a dash cam video of this tragic incident. Reporting live in Farmington, Jane Caffrey, NBC Connecticut News. Keisha.
Jane, thank you. And the tributes are now pouring in from all across the state tonight, sending condolences to the Connecticut State Police, Troop H, and Trooper First Class Aaron Pelletier's family. Troop B in North Canaan sharing this message tonight about their fallen brother. It reads, he was an excellent trooper and a tremendous person. We offer our sincerest condolences to the family and friends who were directly affected by this tragic loss. Rest easy, trooper. We got the watch from here. And Middletown police had this to say, in part, Trooper Pelletier's dedication, bravery, and unwavering commitment to protecting and serving the public exemplify the highest standards of our profession. His sacrifice will not be forgotten, and his legacy will continue to inspire and guide us. And our political leaders are sending their condolences, too, for this tragic loss. Governor Lamont released this statement saying, in part, this is a tragic reminder about the dangers law enforcement face every day when they leave their homes and go to work. On behalf of the state of Connecticut, my condolences and prayers go out to family, friends, and brothers and sisters with the Connecticut State Police. Senator Chris Murphy also released a statement saying, this is terrible, terrible news. Our thoughts are with Trooper Pelletier's family and the state police tonight. What an awful tragedy. Stick with NBC Connecticut in the coming days as people remember and honor Trooper First Class Aaron Pelletier. We will continue to bring you updates on air and on the free NBC Connecticut app.